NAN has now native integration with MCPs. This means we can allow other tools like Cloud Desktop to access our workflows. In this video, I'll explain in the easiest way possible what MCPs are, how to set up NAN MCP nodes, and finally show an entire workflow integration that can make your Cloud Assistant look like it's on steroids. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. The boring definition is that it's an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. The fun way to see it is like this. Imagine you own a restaurant where the chef gets each ingredient from a different supplier. He always specifies for each one. I need X pounds of meat A and Y pounds of meat B. Everything works well until one day you realize the burgers don't have any cheese. As you go to check with the chef, he tells you that he's been ordering the same way as always. So eventually you call the cheese supplier and realize that to place an order, you have to specify it in kilos now. To fix that, you'll need to change the order instructions for all the cheese in your menu. The cheddar, goat cheese, cream cheese, and all the other. Suddenly a company shows up and says, how about I handle all that for you? I'll make live updates to the instructions from all of your suppliers. Then I'll deliver them directly to your chef along with all the ingredients needed. In this analogy, the chef is our AI agent, the suppliers are the tools, the order instructions are the schemas in context, and the company that showed up is what we call MCP. Let's take a real example. Firecrawl is a scraper with 10 different tools. You can ask it to map a URL, perform a web search, crawl a website, and more. Without an MCP, I'd have to configure each one of these different tools within the AI agent. In some cases, I'd also have to specify each expected schema and input. Any changes the tool provider makes to how their tools expect data would force me to come back to my workflow and make adjustments. MCPs help in two ways. It helps the AI agent by showing it the live, up-to-date context and giving it the ability to use all the tools from the suppliers seamlessly. It also helps the tool provider by allowing them to easily hook their tools up with the MCP server. The MCP then takes care of providing the LLM with everything it needs to process requests using those tools. This is just an overview of what MCPs are, but there is much more to how they provide sufficient context for the LLM to work effectively with the connected tools. If you're using NAN Cloud, probably you already have access to the nodes. If it's self-hosted, then you probably have to update your NAN, even if it's set to the latest version. Because as instructed by the NAN community manager, the current version is in the beta branch, which is the 1.88.0 version. With that in mind, if you're using YeezyPanel, you could just go inside the source panel and change the image. If you're running this in localhost or directly hosting to cloud with Docker, you'll want to execute this command. After that, you'll either want to stop and start the container, or if you have persistent files, you'll want to delete your current container and start a new one built with the new version. Now back to NAN, type MCP on the right, and you'll see both the MCP server trigger as well as the MCP client tool. The MCP server trigger allows you to expose a URL. You can both define a authentication to secure the URL and a path so it's easier to remember. I've already created a complete Google Calendar tool inside this workflow. Remember that when executed by another workflow node needs to specify the input schema as this will be passed on to the LLM. In this scenario, we're building the MCP servers, so we act as the suppliers from the initial example. Now, all I have to do is attach it as a tool to the MCP server trigger like this, and click these buttons so that the LM knows which fields it needs to fill in. It's a good idea to provide a description in the inputs, so the AI gets the complete context. Now let's add the Telegram tool as well. To test the MCP server trigger, we can use the MCP client node. Since this is just an example, I'll do it all in the same workflow. Select the AI agent node, attach your favorite chat model, now for the tool select MCP client tool. You'll have to add the SSE endpoint, which is exactly the URL found back in the MCP server trigger. Remember to activate your workflow or hit the test workflow button if you're using the test URL. We're able to use this same MCP server for different workflows. Because of that, we're able to select different tools we want to use for each case. 
By selecting the select option, you can then choose which tools you want to use. Since we want to test all of them, let's just leave it set with all. Now we can chat with the AI agent, which now has access to the tools provided. Let's add a Redis memory so we can actually be in a conversation. Let me first test the Telegram tool. Nice. Now let's test scheduling a meeting for tomorrow. Awesome. Currently, these new nodes don't exactly replace the custom NAN nodes MCP. Maybe because of security issues, NAN didn't add that just yet. So if you want to attach an external MCP to your MCP server trigger, you'll still have to use the custom node. To use Firecall, you'll still have to place in the list tools, which retrieves the context as well as the execute tool that uses the context provided. It can be redundant as you could just directly use them inside of Claude Desktop, for example, but at least now it avoids us having to attach the same tools to every AI agent we create inside of NAN. This already helps a lot by organizing our tools in a single place. But some of you might be thinking, well, I could just place the tools directly on the AI agent. What's the big deal with this server node? The big deal is that we can now let other systems interact with our tools, like AI assistants such as Claude. Inside Claude Desktop, you'll have to activate developer mode here in the help section. After that, go to file, settings, developer, and hit the edit config button. A directory with the file Claude Desktop config.json will open. In here, you'll place this code. You can find this code in the description of the video. Go ahead and place the production URL from your MCP servers node in here. Save the file and head back to Cloud Desktop. Next to the text area, you'll notice all our tools were identified. Now you can go on talking with Cloud and give it the task you'd like. Allow Cloud to use the tools. And that's it. Remember to leave a like if this helped you and make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.